Have you ever wondered what a mole is? We're not talking about furry woodland creatures. We're talking about a mole of material. Welcome to the Great Mole Mystery. The first step of learning about how to use the mole is to learn a little bit about dimensional analysis. Here's what it is. Let's say for some odd reason that you need to know how many centimeters there are in 2.5 miles. Well, here's how you do it. We know that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So we could write down the, the units like this. We could say that there is one mile per 5,280 feet, per means to divide, or we could say that there's 5,280 feet per one mile. It just all depends on what direction you want to go. We also know that for every foot there are 12 inches. So we could say that there are 12 inches in one foot, or we could say that there is one foot in 12 inches either way is correct. We also know that there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch. One, so we could write this, for example, as one inch in 2.54 centimeters or as 2.54 centimeters per one inch. So let's go ahead and set up the problem for our final calculations. We start with 2.5 miles, and to convert, we're going to times it by a conversion factor. Should it be one mile in 5,280 feet, or 5,280 feet in one mile? Well, we want to be able to cancel out the miles unit, so if I have miles at the top here, miles should be at the bottom. So we want to put down 5,280 feet in one mile. That means when I multiply them together, I can cancel out the miles and I'm left with feet. Well, let's keep going. Now we need to convert feet into inches. Well, so if I have foot feet here at the top, I need to put feet in the bottom. And so I would put that down as being 12 inches into one foot. I can now cancel out the feet and I'm left with inches. Now continuing on, I want to be able to convert this into centimeters. So to make this work, I have to have inches in the bottom to cancel out the inches. So that would be 2.54 centimeters in one inch. So the inches cancel out, and now I'm left with centimeters. And that's the unit that we're after. So the answer is, once we have multiplied everything out, 402,336 centimeters. Now that's our first look at dimensional analysis, but let's turn this into problems about the mole. To do this, we have to learn about the conversion triangle. This is your conversion triangle. How it works is that you have grams at the top, moles at the bottom left, and grams per mole, or grams in moles, at the bottom right. This represents divide, and this line represents multiply. All right, let's go ahead and do a problem then with this. Let's say that I have 10 grams of helium. Well, we don't know how many moles that is. We'd like to figure that out. But we do know how many grams there are in one mole. That's based on the atomic mass unit. It's a weighted average of the isotopes of helium. And if you look this up on a periodic table, it's 4.0026 grams in one mole. Well, looking at our triangle, mole is a unit that we don't know. But we do know the grams is 10 grams, and we do know the atomic mass unit weight, grams per mole. So we can write this out then by saying that with helium, we have 4.0026 grams in one mole. Or we could also say that one mole of helium is equal to 4.0026 grams. Either way works. Now let's do our problem. So if we have 10 grams of helium, then we want to times it by a conversion, but we're trying to get moles and so we want the grams to disappear. So we want, if grams is at the top here, we want grams to be at the bottom in our conversion factor. So we'd use this factor here. One mole over 4.0026 grams. So the grams will cancel out and we'll be left with moles. 
So all we have to do then is take 10 grams divided by 4.0026 and the answer works out rounding up 2.50 moles. So that's how you do dimensional analysis. Part of it is just knowing what units you have and then looking how you get from those units to the units that you need. Of course, the real question is, what would happen if you had a mole of moles? Well, they would start to pile up like this. Wait a second. Hey, hey, help, help. Ah, oh, oh, oh.